WWE career modes over the years have been a mix of playing as real WWE superstars and your own created characters. So this of course means that you'll either have the actual superstar's pre-designed attire or your own creation throughout the entire game, right? Well, not exactly. Because the writers and developers of these games love to strategic troll every now and then by forcing you to wear some of the silliest costumes possible. So silly that they even make someone like Clowny acceptable. With that being said, here are the six times WWE games made you wear weird costumes in WWE games. But now it's sponsor time, and today we're sponsored by Yahaha, a brand new user-generated content creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experiences. Ooh, that's a lot to say in one sentence. You can use Yahaha to create and publish your own games and virtual experiences. It's easy to use, you don't even need coding knowledge or server knowledge to create these multiplayer games. Just use the components in Yahaha and their huge asset library and go to town create all sorts of things. Yahaha supports multiplayer so you can actually invite your friends to your game or world and just hang out or take on the challenges that you've designed. Not only that, you can go to other 3D spaces and join their communities too. Click the link in the description to get access to Yahaha's early access for free. That's right, you can get this content creation platform for free right now. Follow the link in the description and go make something cool today. Firstly, in SmackDown vs Raw 2007 Season Mode, you will probably know by now about this infamous storyline that featured Edge with Candice Michelle as his manager, who had a, wait for it, magic wand that actually had magical powers. Somehow never seen this before and don't believe it? Look at it in action for yourself. Did you see that? Candice just hit him with her cute little plastic wand! Plastic wand, my sooner backside. That shot dropped in like a sack of spuds. And the wand's gotta be loaded with something. So much for Candace not being an advantage for Edge. Well, she practically won the match for him. So with that in context, let's talk about the kind of costume change that happens after losing that match. Your character, in this case we use John Cena, a longtime rival of Edge's, you'll be seen storming backstage in rage because magic was just used to cheat you out of a win, and that same magic will be used to turn you into what WWE would call a diva back in that era. It's not a baton, it's a magic wand, and the only thing that it's loaded with is magic. Look here, Wicked Witch of the West. Keep that magic wand to yourself from now on. What? Wicked Witch? That's it. You and me in the ring tonight. What? You gotta be kidding. I don't do bikini contests. What the hell? I know. How about a singles match? I'll see you out there, girlfriend. Hey, what up, sexy thing? Shut up! Moving on to the dreaded WWE 2K20 in the My Career mode. You are locked in a bitter rivalry against the A-lister The Miz after your character Trey gets the leading role in a new WWE Studios movie over The Miz. You'll even have to go through an audition to get the role of the lead actor. This leaves The Miz furious, and during the filming of the movie, The Miz will be seen invading the set to attack Trey whilst both are wearing green mocap suits. You'll have to beat The Miz in the brawl that precedes the cutscene whilst wearing that ridiculous looking mocap suit. A ridiculous attire for a ridiculous character like Trey makes sense. Where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh! Uh, security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! For your consideration, rank and file four. <laughs> Moving on to WWE 2K22, and this particular storyline is a bit more basic than the rest in this video, as it doesn't have any cutscenes within, which is a real shame. 
but the costume they put you in is certainly worth a mention. So during the male Mai Rai story, your character and Humberto Carrillo will be locked in a war of words through social media that leads to a fight between the two, which seems to be pretty popular in the wrestling world today. However, there's a special stipulation to this match, with it being a reverse mask match which means that the loser has to wear a mask of the winner's choosing for the next 30 days. You can probably see where this is going. So in this match, because we were doing the big bad heel thing, we lost by DQ, which resulted in us being branded as a chicken, and with that we had to wrestle in tag team matches as a chicken. Yes, a chicken. But this wasn't the only time we had to wrestle in a chicken suit in WWE games, unbelievably. This was actually the second time it happened. The first time would happen all the way back in SmackDown vs Raw 2010's Road to WrestleMania. During the Created Superstar storyline, our created character will be in a bitter rivalry with both Santino Marella and the boss, Mr. McMahon, after jumping the barricade as a fan and beating Santino for his Intercontinental Championship. After many weeks of one-upmanships, it will appear that Santino and Vince had got the last laugh as we will see Santino sneaking into our locker room and steal our attire for the upcoming match, leaving us with a chicken suit for an Elimination Chamber match. Yes, we had to compete in one of WWE's most destructive and grueling matches in a chicken suit. Now we will see who gets made the fool. This day belongs... To Santino. The chicken suit will be seen thrown in the trash after the match has ended. Good riddance to that costume. This wasn't the only time, or even the first time in the storyline, that Vince McMahon and his evil gang forced us to change our outfit. Earlier on in the story, Vince will contact our created superstar on the phone to let us know that we need to change up our look. As your employer, it's my responsibility to mold your image. You're edgy with a lot of attitude, a rocker, and a roller, so your outfit should reflect that. The customer will give you a base, but feel free to add your own spin. We want you to connect with our fans, so spend some time with them. I'll be watching. Later in the show, we will see the results of Vince McMahon's new idea of what our character should look like. And yeah, I actually think the chicken suit looked better. I wonder if we can get that back. Well, at least it's not as bad as what FTR would have looked like in WWE. And the final moment can be found in WWE 2K19's My Career Mode. Throughout most of the story, we will be seen as Buzz in our own attire that will be perfectly created, using the wide array of attire parts and create a superstar that we could only wish to be possible years ago. So we gave our character this basic look that took around 30 seconds to do. Well, maybe 35 at most. So getting back to the moment, you'll get into a rivalry with Bray Wyatt, who of course will use everything against you, from making us lose our title, to burning down our car, to even using our own friends against us. And not to forget the whole gassing and kidnapping thing. Yeah, Bray wasn't too friendly with us in this story. Eventually, Buzz says enough is enough and decides to fight back against Bray, and he must use the power of magic to bring out his inner demon and fight alongside Finn Balor to put an end to all of Bray's mind games. Just who can help us with the power of magic? Well, if you guess Matt Hardy, then you're correct. We will have to head to the multiverse to unleash our inner demon, which for some reason means wearing a silly costume for the match. Just look at these choices. Now, I really wish I could have got the chicken suit back from the trash. I, maybe we can go and rescue that. And you are now ready to delete the consumer of terrestrial entities. Yes. And those were six times you wore weird costumes in WWE games. Did we miss any out? Let us know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, you may just enjoy the one you're seeing on the screen right now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.